In history, there have been few attempts to remove the blessed body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was a very famous Muslim leader. His name was Nur al-Din Zinki. Nur al-Din Zinki was part of the Seljuk Empire and he ruled over Syria. And he was the mentor of Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi. One time, Nur al-Din, after praying tahajjud, he went to sleep and in his dream, he saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in that dream, he pointed out two men with blonde hair and he told Nur al-Din, which his first name is Mahmoud, Ya Mahmoud, save me from these two men. Mahmoud woke up from the dream. He was, you know, surprised. What kind of dream is this? And he did not pay much attention to it until he saw it three times in a row. Ya Mahmoud, save me from these two men. Allahu Akbar. Jamaluddin al mawsili advised him to not to tell anyone and to immediately go to Medina. It said it took 16 days to arrive. And when he arrived there, the governor of Medina was surprised because he was not notified that he was coming. He inquired about the trip. Nur al-Din informed him why did he make this trip in the middle of the night and without any prior notice. So the governor asked the Sultan if he can recognize the two men he saw in the dream. He confirmed, yes, I can. So what they did, is they announced all over Medina that the Sultan is here and he wants to provide a lot of food and gifts to everybody. So when this news spread in Medina, everybody started coming and the whole idea was to see and find out if these two men were among the people coming and taking the, the gifts. So a lot of people came and they all get uh, gifts and food and they were not able to identify those two men. They were not among them. So when they finished, the Sultan asked the governor, are these the only people in Medina that sit? There's nobody else. He said, there are two men that came from Morocco recently. They have been praying a lot and they have been giving a lot of money to the people. They're very kind, they're very generous. So he said, can we see them? When they walked in, immediately the Sultan Nuruddin Zinki recognized that these are the same two men he saw in his dream. So after questioning them, the Sultan seeing them in the dream, he knew that they are not telling the truth. So he went to their tent and looked, 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 he did not find anything. And then he saw carpet, he took it out and under it, there was a lot of money. And after uh, intensive <laughs> search, they found that they dug a tunnel and the tunnel is almost by the chamber. Allahu Akbar. They admitted to their mission and they said, we are here to steal the body of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they were Christians, Moroccans, and they want to take it back to Rome. They were sentenced and they were executed. Now, after this incident, Nur al-Din Zinki ordered a trench to be dug around the sacred chamber and the trench will be filled with molten lead in order to prevent any future attempts to steal the body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. There is a couple of lessons. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Wallahu ya'asimuka min nas Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah defend you, Allah protect you from, from nas, from mankind. And he told us many in many places in the Quran that whomsoever harm Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be harmed in the dunya and in the akhirah. How the leaders of the past, when they heard that there is something uh, harmful to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, immediately themselves did something.